In one video earlier, I had shown you how to detect uh, a slow tire leak by using soapy water mixture. Okay, you spray the rim, spray the tread, spray the valve stem. We found on this particular tire that the valve stem is leaking. It's bad, so it needs to be replaced. So what I need to do now is I need to dismount the. I need to break the bead in order to the tire to the rim in order to, to service the valve stem. So the first thing I need to do is I need to remove my wheel weights. Okay, these are wheel weights. This is a wheel weight hammer. Okay, it's used for removing and installing wheel weights. Got to remove it from both sides. If you don't remove it from both sides, you can potentially damage the rim when you're trying to change out the tire. This is what a wheel weight looks like. All right. Put this on a tire changer, and I'm going to hit the button right here, which expands the claws to the turntable. That expanded the claws. Now my tire is secure. I'm going to grab a valve core remover tool, which looks like this. And I'm going to take that valve uh, core out. As I'm doing that, I'm using two hands to do it, okay? So that way, because if you unscrew this and let go, that thing's going to shoot out through the shop, hit somebody in the eye, you'll lose it. Uh, we're going to put this in a safe spot over here. Now i got to wait for all that air to get out before I can break the bead on this thing, which means I need to take it back down here. Alright, this right here is your turntable. These right here are your clamps, and they can either clamp a tire going in or going out. Most of your automotive tires will be clamping going out, okay? And you can adjust these in different wheel, uh, wheel sizes and, and all that for whatever uh, application you need. These right here, if you can see these, these are air jets. And what they do is they force air when you're trying to mount the tire to the rim to sit the bead. They force air up and help it seal the tire to the bead. All right. Right here, I've got to find my right foot pedal here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm putting my foot on the bead breaker pedal. This particular one has four pedals, okay? Most of your average ones only have three. One is for the bead breaker, one is to turn the turntable, forwards or backwards, and one of them is to lock the clamps out. The other one on this one makes this arm go in and out. This is a little bit nicer machine. All right. If you look at the curvature of this bead breaker, it kind of curves around your rim. All right. Now, to change out a valve stem, let me lock through the table. I don't technically need to dismount the whole tire, so I'm not going to do that in this video. I'll show you that in another video. So what I am going to do, we're just going to replace the valve stem. So I hit my little... This right here is really good for helping mountain balancing those really thin sidewall tires. Okay, so got my valve stem right here. If you can see the back part of it right there, I'll take out my pocket knife or razor blade, whatever you got, carefully. Okay, this one's a little bit tougher, so I want to cut it off with some side cutters. Maybe this will work. Hmm. 
Alrighty. That one fought me a little bit. It's got this extra little piece of metal in there. This right here is a valve stem installer tool. It threads on there. You find a fulcrum point for it to pull up. Alright, and you can pull it out of there. Alright, now I want to install my new valve stem. Here's my new one. I'm going to put it up through the hole right here. I'm going to take my valve stem installer tool. I'm going to pull it up. Okay. Now I'm going to lift this up. Hit this switch right here to turn it. I'll go over here and there's this is where you add air to the tire. Clip this on there, it should stay on there nice and flat. There's another pedal right here, and this is the pedal that puts the air in the tire. That loud sound you just heard was the air jet I was talking about earlier. When you press all the way down on this um, lever, it will help set the bead in the back. I'm going to remove the valve stem. I meant to do that before, I forgot. Because what it does, this forces, this lets more air pass through. Now keep your hands clear from right there. Should make a popping noise. Usually. You don't want to go much more than 25 or 30 psi. If it doesn't seat the beat in 25 or 30 psi, then you need to back up and punt and do something different. The way you tell is the psi is on the inside. And if you can look, we're at about 35, and I think that beat's nice and set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a valve stem in using two hands. Twist it in there. And it says I have about 30 pounds of pressure. All right, before I do anything else, I'm going to spray it again to make sure that it's not leaking. And as you can tell, it's not leaking air. So this thing should be fixed. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Then my next step to this now is I want to balance the tire because I removed the weights. Tires are balanced using these clip-on or stick-on weights. And they're usually in ounces or grams. And this one's 1.75. So that's one and three quarter ounce. This one is 1.75, which is one and three quarter ounce. And this one right here is a 0.5, so this is a half ounce. And this is for a steel rim. You can tell by the shape of how it fits on there. This is made for a steel rim. And we'll talk more about that later in another video. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.